Hey everyone, it's Abby, and today we're going to be setting up my Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. This is the Sunshine in Regular, and actually I already did a VO of this, but my mic didn't pick it up, so we're going to do it voiceover style today, and I'm going to show you what I currently am using in terms of this week's planner and actually use it more as a journal and not as a planner so i'm gonna show you how that works every week and i've been trying different ways also to switch things up because i honestly had a different idea when i got this i wanted it to be a tarot journal but nowadays i decided to actually scrap that idea so it's going to be a mix of different personal things if i may say so myself i'd like to call it my personal planner so let's have a look inside so that you can see what i've been up to since this started in the last week of november so generally hobonichi weeks i super like it for the slim size it's really easy to carry around and it's super pocket friendly and that's one of the qualities as to why i got this is actually my third hobonichi weeks i've owned two more in the past years or so but i've been on and off in using this because i didn't really know what to do with my hobonichi weeks but i've been seeing a lot of inspiration online these days so i decided to give it a chance this coming 2022 so this is my monthly overview it's very simple very straightforward i don't really have a lot of things planned but i wanted to show you specifically some of the non-negotiables i put here which includes like visitors things that i have to do on the weekends as well as when my brother is coming to help me pack and then i also have started to log in my moods which is something very interesting because i don't realize how important it is until i actually see it like an overview like this so as you can see i have different moods so the red one is actually stressed as you can see i'm very stressed and then i also have um green for neutral or calm and then the beige one is neutral rather so my sister gave me those stickers and i decided to copy her idea because she showed me how she used them and i was like okay fine i'm going to do a mood tracker as well for my monthly overview hopefully there are more greens in the coming weeks because i would need to take a few breaks in between and i'm getting perpetually tired so this is the monthly overview let's now go to the weekly overview which is mostly the meat of this planner so this is the first week when i was settling in my weeks i decided to divide it into two columns on the left side and then i initially wanted like a to-do list on the left and like a summary on the right but that didn't happen so i ended up just writing stuff maybe like key highlights of the day key things that happened to do's or items that arrived so it's really a mix and hodgepodge of things if you notice also on the right side i started to do like a this week's draw situation where i drew tarot cards every day but i realized eventually towards like friday i was like i don't know if this actually works for me so i decided to scrap that idea the following week but i made use of the template that was already on the hobonichi weeks page as you can see there's like a very subtle line that divides like the card and its meaning but yeah as i mentioned i didn't do that the following week but one thing that you'll notice that i still retained is that there are two columns and i added this habit tracker i'm trying i'm really trying i got this idea from chingai because she tracks her weekly activities and i thought maybe i can do that as well so i did like a little corner there as well as media this week i tend to watch a lot of films and series and then i proceeded to fill up the rest of the remaining days because i forgot to actually write them down but one rule of thumb that i've been trying out is i try to put less stickers and i really do a lot of writing because this is really a summary of my days and i really want to encapsulate that next up we're going to be adding these index stickers now a bit of a warning i'm not the best when it comes to doing neat stuff like this so i wasn't quite happy with how the index sticker thing turned out but you know it's done it's done i don't want to remove it once again but i decided to use the hobonichi index stickers to stick on specific months for the weeks because there are two sets in the index sticker set so the other one will be for my hobonichi techo a6 original size sunday start and then the rest will be here so i've gotten along to finish that and 
not the best, but you know, guys, I tried. I really tried. But it's so satisfying to see all the months like outlined there, and it's so. Um, isn't it overwhelming to feel like wow, this is gonna this is gonna be like the rest of my year in in this planner, and I'm going to be filling that up. So let's do a quick setup for the coming week. So it's the same thing. I figured that the two column situation works, and every week I try to use a different ink. So this week we're going for like a yellowish theme, and I think I'm gonna be using my brown ink. Just so you know, last week I was feeling festive with the red. So it changes every week. That's my little creative exercise. And I'm using here my favorite washi tape, the Sunflower Washi, aka my first ever washi tape that I designed. And my golden rule is always like two to three stickers, not too much. These tiny stickers from Suatele, they're my favorite because they don't take up that much space. And then I also divided like the right side. There's a top, top part and bottom part. So the top part, I'm planning to do like a little to-do list, running to-do list of the week personal stuff. And then the right bottom right will be for my tracker. As you can see here, I've also started to use um, my highlighter as well as the Zebra Sarasa vintage pens to use for tracking and for writing because it doesn't ghost as much so newfound appreciation because i love these pens i just don't get to use them as much so generally that's what my current setup looks like i don't plan everything way way ahead let me know what your system is and i really love to know how you set up your hobonichi weeks um lastly i'm just gonna stick in a stay true sticker it's just nice it's just nice to have a little affirmation and yeah this is my final setup for the week i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye